Sorry. It, it, I'm in my pajamas right now, which is uh, the free EWA shirts I got from ages ago. But I just have the. This is just so fucking funny. You have to see this. <laughs> so recently, on um, the waste discussion space, which is the ATAR chat group for Western Australians. Which I was part of and still am part of though obviously not an ATAR anymore because I'm a fully grown man who can take care of himself and did not eat polony sandwiches for dinner today. Some dosh head we'll call him. I don't know what that means. It could mean that he's full of money in his head, which good on him. Called James Fitzgibbon made a post on the waste discussion space after the case of Corona happened in Western Australia. And it, it, it went a bit like this. This outbreak has shown McGowan's complete incompetence and lack of preparation for local cases. When New South Wales had their outbreak before Christmas, Gladys' excellent contract tracing system meant that they'd get to zero cases without locking down Sydney. There were so many businesses and livelihoods that were saved thanks to her competent contact tracing. Googling McGowan's contact tracing is sub par. Unsurprising as the WA Safe app is barely enforced. I wish we had Gladys Bear Jickling in WA. There's a lot to break down there. I'm going to start with three, three things just off the top of my head. First, it wasn't an outbreak. It was one case which had no local transmission so far. Second, I went into IGA today and there were three IGA, IGA employees full of confetti for some reason celebrating the fact that you had to use the con contact tracing app, which I don't know why. The third thing, his comment completely dismissed 10 months of absolutely zero transmission within the community. And that, that time is still technically going on, but I'm not here to disseminate some comment, okay? Like, yeah, it, it's it's riddled with bullet holes of stupid talking points and all that riff rat. That's boring sh** to talk about. No, I'm here because the waste discussion space has not changed a bit, if not it's improved since I was in ATAR. Their meme game is on point. Starting with this one, this is the first one I saw and it brought this whole thing to my attention. After being notified of the powerful and inspiring words of James Fitzsimmons in the Waste Discussion page, Mark McGowan has chosen to step down immediately. My entire government and countless advisors are simply no match for the intellect and hindsight of such an individual as James. I'm handing all legislative power over to him immediately. Mark McGowan has been reported as saying, Yes, that's right. He is so immensely powerful in his fourth dimensional words of wisdom that he forced a premier to stand down immediately. Waste discussion has an immense appreciation for our Lord and Saviour, but I think it's not strong enough. I'm sorry, if you don't have a dedicated Shrine Memorial Church in your rented out apartment or whatever people, under the bridge that I'm pretty sure most people live under these days, then I'm sorry. You're not a big enough McGowan fanatic to pass the test. We all have a slowly developing crush on Mark McGowan, okay? And we should abandon all other hopes of romance, especially in this day and age, to simp for Mr McGowan. Like, there's a reason I have not heard of any uh, Western Australians opening up an OnlyFans. It's because we're all waiting for a Mark McGowan OnlyFans, okay? That's what we're waiting for. James Fitch Fitzsimmons, who I'm going to continuously mistake for Fitzgibbons, very different person, but anyway, he said, how can I join the McGowan you? It's good to see that he can take a joke at least a little bit, you know? Ain't good with your riffraff. Still keep up a good fight though. He does still believe in himself. He believes in himself just a little bit. Yeah, an example here. Mark trying to hide from the fact that he locked down 2 million people when there was no community transmission in Perth. 
the, he seems to forget the fact that the whole reason there was no community transmission was because he locked down two million people. No one. Literally no one. James Fitzsimmons. McGowan Bad. That's the worst talking points. You have to wear a mask. James Jimity Jimbo Jimmy James. September 2020. January 1984. James Jimmy D Jimbo Jimmy James. The icing on the cake. Like, you know there was not a lot of effort put into this meme, but it still hit so hard. Here, there was a post reporting zero community transmission COVID cases, and someone immediately tagged James Fitzgibbon. James Fitzgibbon about to take down Matt McGowan for the 2021 state election. Cersei of February 2021. Colorized. This post just reminded me just how brutal people are. Like, look, you could probably handle the entirety of the combined Murdoch and Packer just dissemination and takedowns that Kevin Rudd endured during his prime ministership. Just Operation Carpet Bombing Media attacks. None of them would be just as demolishing and career ending as the kinds of memes and comments done by Zoomers when they want to be harsh. Just like you could be called a mon manical, terrible psychopath on all of the mainstream media and none of it would be as bad as this post just saying James Fitzgibbon's mum should have swallowed. That just has such a simple brutality to it that cannot be expressed through the mainstream media. Do you reckon the Premier is reading James Fitzgibbon's post here and thinking, you know what, this bloke really knows what is good for WA and definitely qualified to manage a global pandemic. If WA had write-ins on the ballots like America, he'd be my first choice for sure. Me, looking for who asked? James Fitzsimmons. Fuck James Fitzsimmons. All my homies hate James Fitzsimmons. Man respect for James Fitzsimmons for becoming one of the most effective conversation starters to ever exist in this group. Mark McGowan will be proud. It is a real achievement. I am low-key kind of jealous. I worked really hard making memes for the waste discussion space during my year 11 and 12 times. You know, the Gilgi Grands, the ATAR gay erotica, anyone remember that? Probably not, but it was a fantastic collaborative effort that I am still proud of to this day. Those sweet Gilgi. Gilgi buttockses. <laughs> Who else has a massive crash on James Fitzsimmons? Absolutely whipped for my young liberal. Nobody, not a soul. James Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Everyone disliked that. 45. I'm pretty sure he got his original post from a copy pasta on ABC comment. And it is an effective copy pasta because it's fucking hilarious. It's, it's right up there with. The Vaporeon being the optimal compatibility and Metallica Dash friggin Pony Plushy Collection. The, they're the three of the apocalypse. The Furry, the Google Plus, and now the Ozpol. I got everything I ever wanted in life. I am sorted. Yeah.